shake up. I said it's time for a big change. Oh, yeah, I said it again. Listen to these doggy celebrities. CBBC will never be the same. You can't forget that young can thistle chops. Neither of them are what you need. Swap them for dogs, ideally me and dogs. That's more the sort of the show, show for me. Hey. Ooh. Up, Derek, we're on air in ten, nine, eight. I can't seven. turn it down, Lolly. It's stuck. But Mr. Hacker's going to be boiling hot down in the studio. He can't do a show with the studio heating on full blast. Oh, heck! How long have we got? One second. One second. Forget that. Oh, phew. It's no seconds now. You're on air, Mr. Hacker. Oh no! <laughs> Hello, hello, cockers! I'm Hacker T Dog, and you're watching my very, very, very hot show. They cost me a five of them. Derek, have you not fixed that thermostat yet? It's roasted in here. <gasps> Sorry, Mr. Hacker, it's still jammed. Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Hacker, but you're actually wearing more clothes than normal. That's probably not helping. Thank you, Herman. I don't pay you to answer back. But, Mr. Hacker, you don't pay me at all. <laughs> yeah. Any luck, Derek? Oh, I've nearly got it. It's getting looser. Oh, here goes. <laughs> oh. No! <laughs> Derek! What have you done, man? It's gone too far the other way now. Oh, Lolly, help me. I've got my tank top snagged under the desk. Oh, hurry up, Derek. I've got a show to do. Woohoo! Oh, no. Derek, oh. you are a useless mooey. Don't worry, Mr. Hacker. I'll sort it out. There is a neck to this. What you need is me. I've got it all going on. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Sorry, viewers. My director, Derek, is completely useless. <laughs> sure am. <laughs> hey, Just run the menu, McGee, and let's get on with the show. I don't know why I bother. I really don't. Coming up, funny faces. Challenging questions. Oh, that's a tough one. Uh... And a random chicken. Oh, <laughs> hey. Good shot, Mr. Chicken. Today's programme is all about the dumping ground, so I've arranged a couple of well good guests to tell us everything we need to know, and I've got a feeling they'll be here very shortly. <laughs> Wilf, Herman, go and get them! Yes, Mr. Hacker. I'll fire up the vine! <laughs> Stay there, folks. Off you go, Wilf. Off we go. Let's reverse it. Please welcome today's special guests from the dumping ground. It's Connor Byrne and Kay Purcell, a.k.a. Mike and Gina. Wow, I can't believe it. Check us out, Kay. I'm so excited. Welcome to my show. Hello, mate. I can't believe you've got us on your show. Do you know, I never miss anything that you do on telly. I love you. Ah, oh, well, thank you. I would probably blush, but I haven't got that ability. Do you know what? This is the pinnacle, the acme of my career. <laughs> and, and, hey, check this out. I've got my favourite T-shirt on today. Oh, what is it? Shall I show you? Yeah, yeah. Ta-da! Check it out! It's Dodge! Dodge! Yeah, Dodge! I'm Hacker! What? Hacker? Yeah! Oh, God. I, I, I can't stand Hacker. Oh, Hacker's a little bit. Oh, well, it's, just, it's not got the same quality. No, that Dodge, it doesn't have that zing. You know, you, that excuse me, I'm still in the room, you know. I'm Hacker T Dog, you know. Meat Pace, Cotton Eye Joe, Oe, and your Mucky Pig. All the catchphrases. Oh, never mind. Oh. So, what do we do now? I've gone and. Prepared a show with you in it and all that, and... Will you stay anyway now you're here? Oh. Oh, I suppose so. What's the alternative? Going to have my hair done. Oh, well, we might as well stay. Why, thank you, Mike. 
Connor. Yeah, 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 whatever. Let us peruse a dead good fact file to celebrate this happy moment. Pull the blue lever, Gina. K. Same difference. Pull it, love. <laughs> K and Connor, aka Mike and Gina, are actors from the dumping ground. Connor's been in Tracy Beaker since the olden days, but he was very much in the background back then. That's our change because, well, no, he's still in the background, but a bit to the side. Can I come and stand in the front for once? No, you can't. Jean has always wanted to be the star of the show. There was the time she tried to push Tracy over the breakfast bar. She didn't. She's just really jealous of the back of her head, as it turns out. But it's not all fun and games. This was Mike's surprise birthday party. The surprise was, the balloons got nicked. But it didn't stop him enjoying his hobby of inspecting people's hands. Oh, they're not bad, are they? Oh, dirty fingernails. Sort that out, love. What's this? Blood hands? That girl needs some focus in her life. Quite literally. But blood hands are not. Mike and Gina have become stalwarts of that there dumping ground. And we love them for it. Can I be at the front this time? No! They might have to stand at the back a lot. But it's pretty clear to see who's really in charge of things round there. Yes, that's right. Not them. So that's everything you need to know about Kay and Connor. What an interesting piece of tape. I didn't know all of those definitely true facts. I am now going to interview you about the dumping ground. Question one. Connor. Yes. What is it like being in one of the most popular shows on CBBC? Oh, it's a pleasure uh, working with uh, my friend here and Danny and all the kids on Tracy Beaker. It's, uh, it's no, 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 come on. I mean, hacker time, not that dumping ground nonsense. What's he like? I've never been so aghast in all my days. <laughs> Next question. Go on. On your show, your characters have to deal with naughty kids all the time. Mm -hmm. So now, I'm going to be a naughty child. And Kay, you've got to reprimand me. Here you goes. Uh -uh. Gina! Shut up! No. I nearly hey, want to go hey, to bed. Hey, stop it's it. only 8 o'clock. Hey, Why here. do I have to go come to bed here. at 8 o'clock? Come here. Come here. <gasps> now shut up! But Gina, it's only eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Remember, Kay, the devil is very much in the detail when it comes to childcare. Better luck next time. Oh, I love. Question three, Connor. Yes. What's your favourite meat produce? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, pate, no, probably meat paste. Oh, meaty paste! Yes! You can't beat it. Now, you two are popular in that, aren't you? There are some big fans of yours standing by the phones ready to ask you things. Okay. Pick up your phones, right. cockers! <laughs> yeah. Who's on line one? Oh, do. I'd like to inquire where to buy one of those Dodge Team Dog T-shirts that your guest was wearing earlier, please. Dodge! Oh. You are a Dodge T-shirt? This is Hacker Time. What's going on? Derek, put the split screen effect on now. I want to see who's responsible for this. <laughs> oh, whoopsie. Derek, Alan McGee, I'm shocked and appalled. Get off my show, you mucky pig. Oh, sorry, Mr. Hacker. Dumb. Why does no one want a T-shirt of me? <laughs> Never mind. Mike, Gina, I've got something to show you. It's Kay and Connor. Kay and Connor. Kay and Connor. No, it's not! Yes, it is! It's a clip from Tracy Beaker Returns! And I'm afraid I've got a bit of a confession to make, Kay. Yeah? You better watch this. Okay. What, what are you lot doing? Oh, hi, Gina! Hey, look what I've got! Way! Ha ha ha! Whoopsie! Um, they made me do it! What were you thinking you no. were doing? <laughs> it was me wreaking havoc yeah, all along! What a lot of chaos! <laughs> Went that a lol! Talking of lols? Oh no you don't, Derek! Oh yes I do, Mr Hacker! It's Derek time! Somebody make him stop, Derek, no! No! <laughs> it's Derek time! <laughs> Welcome to Derek time, me ducks. <laughs> now, we haven't got time to show you the dog scared by his own trumps. <laughs> and we haven't got time to show you the chicken caught cheating in a pool tournament. <laughs> 
bark, bark. <laughs> But we do have time to show you this. Now, how on earth is that dog going to eat that bone? <laughs> it's on his nose. How is he going to manage it? I don't understand. Oh, he's done it. Oh, he must be some sort of super dog. <laughs> and that concludes today's Derek time. Back to you, hacker. You think it's bad having to deal with them naughty kids in the dumping ground? You should try working with Derek McGee. The man's a nuisance, I tell you. A stinking nuisance! D oh! Hello! Um, thanks very much, Derek. Always a fascinating part of the show there. Can't wait till next time. <clears throat> right then, Mike and Jean. No. It's Kane Connor, Kane Connor, get Connor. <laughs> it's tricky to remember that. Is. No, you it's see, not. You act in a show, then you come in here using different names and that. It's all rather confusing, isn't it, Connor? No, it's not. I shall forever think of you as Michael and Gina, and I shall now sing a song to that effect. Good day! Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of folks in the dumping ground. Most of the guys agree about and sound. I like them all, but your favorites I have found. Oh, it's Mike and Gina from the Dumping Ground. Mike Milligan has an MBE. Seen as a father figure for Tracy. Been in it years, but that doesn't bother me. Oh, he's fun, but fair Mike Milligan MBE. But he'd be nothing if it wasn't his own, cause someone help him out. There's only one woman for the job, and she's paid by K Purcell. Learn how to borrow him dance at the beaker season two. Oh, she always brightens up my day. Her name's Gina Conway. Sir Connor Burn and Lady K. Purcell. Nice folks could choose, not bad actors as well. Their very presence makes me one happy hound. Oh, the king and queen of that fair dumping ground. Mike. Gina. The king and queen of that there dumping ground. Huh. Oh, Thank you. Yeah. Ta <laughs> what do you think, Mike and Gina? No, no, it's K and Connor. K and Connor. Mike and Jean is no, nicer, name. Eh? Connor. K. It's uh, easy. I'll never get used to this acting like. Now, Mike and Gina. No! Uh, what, what? What? It's K. Connor and K. This program is an utter disgrace, Benjamin. We must write a letter of complaint. Take this down. Right ho, Frank. <laughs> now, dear the BBC, I am writing to complain about Hacker Time. How much cash are you spending on this annoying muck? Lavish sets, big name guests, and an epic musical number. You must have money to burn. What was that last bit, Frank? Money to burn, Benjamin. Money to burn. You must have money to burn. Well, if you say so, Frank. <laughs> what are you doing with all those lovely 20-pound notes? I'm throwing all your life savings onto the fire, Frank. You did say I must have money to burn. Oh, <laughs> Benjamin! Did you hear something? Yeah, I did. What was it? The sound of Series 3 of Hacker Time being successfully commissioned. Um... No, it was more like, uh, I don't know, insects scratching around, so, you know, under the desk. Oh yeah, that figures. This studio shouldn't legally be used. It's totally infested. What a laugh. <laughs> right then, cockers, I've got some good news and some bad news. Oh, great. The good news is, you're doing very well on my show today. I'm very impressed. Oh, thank you. Yeah. What's the bad news? I've still got to put up with you for another 15 minutes. Time really is dragging today, isn't it? Derek, the menu! Still to come today, TV crimes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Crimes against TV. My latest scheme. <sighs> and an excitable viewer. Ah, oh, look at him. Don't go away, me little owls. <laughs> Looks good, that, don't it? I must admit, Hax, I was a bit unsure about the show, but... Uh, yeah, but I'm really, really enjoying yeah. it. Ah, uh, thanks, Jean. Okay. Okay. Whatever, yeah. Now then, Mike. It's not Mike, it's Connor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been meaning to say, you've got a lovely glow to you today, sir. Have you been out in the sunshine? Thank you very much. No. No, it's makeup. Makeup? Well, in a television studio with lights, actors and presenters wear makeup all the time. Well, I never. Hey, why didn't you have something more exciting painted on? Like a hamster or a lion, rather than a wrinkly, bald old man? 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> right, I'm going to go off now and see some real human people who aren't off the telly and have some makeup based fun. Good day to you! And pair up those socks while I'm gone! Wait, it, that, that is weird. Here yo. Here we go! <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's me, Hacker. Hey, do you lot think you could help me? Yeah. Good, because I need you all to give me some makeup tips. Herman, bring in the box show stuff. Here we go, Hacker. Whoa! Oh, I'm drizzed. Oh, hey, Dylan, what have you painted Jack's face like? A monkey. Let's have a look. Oh, have a banana. I've already got one. Right. <clears throat> what have you painted Tony's face like? A wicked witch. Have a look then. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, it's terrifying. I'm off. Oh! Jamie Lee, at least yours can't be as frightening as that last one. What have you painted? A clown. Oh no, I'm terrified of clowns. Ah! 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 No, don't do it. No, right, you lot, swap over. Hey Lucy, what have you painted Jamie Lee like? A pig. Can you oink like a pig? <coughs> oh, oh! And a little bit of guitar then. What's he supposed to be? A pretty lady. Let's have a look. Pretty lady. <coughs> oh, and you pretty. Do you like looking like that? No. Ah, give us a kiss, Cameron. No. <laughs> ah, Will you put that banana down, please? Now, what's he meant to be? A zombie. Oh, can you act like a zombie? Mm. Let's get them. <laughs> They've all done really well today, but I have painted Sophie's face to look like the most beautiful thing in the room. Me! And you can even act like me, can't you, Sophie? Yeah. Let's do it then. Yeah. She's better than me. I'm furious! Ah, it's hacker time. Oh, you've changed. So what have we learned today? Number one. A bit of lippy goes a long way. Number two. You can't overdo it a bit. You know who you are. And number three. I've never been to Poland. <laughs> Thank you for all your help, cockers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Now I must get back to the studio. I bet it's quiet there without me, isn't it? Oh, look, a clown! Ugh. <laughs> Panic nut! Haggerty Dog has returned with the findings of his visit! What's going on in here then? Stop the music, cease! Yes, Mr. Hacker! <laughs> How dare you experience merriment in my absence? I'm the main one on this show, you know! Fun is not allowed without my say-so! Sorry. Sorry. And you costume characters! Sorry, Hacker. Yes, so you should be. Hey, Connor, Kay, would you like to get this show back on track with me? Yeah. yeah. Not too. Well, let's have a little look at some fantastic, hilarious howlers! Run it! <laughs> Come on, sir, is that inertia real seatbelt? Come on! Don't pull it so hard, take it, come on! If you do it slowly, oh, I told you that! It's a safety thing. Put it into gear and move away safe. Oh, he started it. Perfect! Now, this man's got a hat on. Yes? Oh, but the man with the chair's gonna skew. The hat was just a red herring. <laughs> loads of things you can do here today. That's one of them. And there are lots of different bikes you can try out. I'm delighted to announce. Ross, <laughs> let's do it all from down here. There are so many bikes you can join in with today. One of them. Here, yeah, let me give you a lift. Yeah. Now, if you've ever been doubting whether or not this is recorded live, there's your answer. <laughs> Row, 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 you about me. You've broken it, what are you playing at? I've broken my bottom. He's broken his bottom. <laughs> Acting laws and that. 
Right then, Kay and Connor, mm. you are actors in television. Yes, I am also in television, mm -hmm. and I am also a high-quality actor. I shall play a girl I have named Tracy Beaker. Oh. The scenario is thus. We all work in the camping ground. All oh, right. Yes, camping. and we're having a right old bicker about whose turn it is to make a brew. Okay. My assistants, Derek and Lolly, are up in the gallery. <laughs> At random intervals, they shall suggest new stars of TV show, and we must act accordingly. You get the idea, it's yes. quite simple. Really. Okay. The time starts now! Gina, uh, oh. any chance of a cup of tea, love? Yeah, of course. Can I have it milky as you like, cocky? Yeah, you can yes, if you, you can. want. Off you go then, go no, and make some tea. You go and make it. No, you go and make yeah, it. Yeah, why don't you I'm make it? it. No, opera. Give it a shake, love, that's it. It's a soap opera. Oh, no! I will, will have a bit of cake with my tea. Well, I don't really know. Oh, I'll, I'll have an Eccles cake if you look. What am I doing? Yeah, I, do I don't need this. <laughs> I don't really Cop show. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Get your hair off, love. Yep. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think that you did it. No, you it's a did fair it. Just get back. He thinks he's top dog, he does. You uh, did this. Calm down. I will not what? calm down. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. Oh, that's Drop. Oh, oh period yeah. drama. In sooth, I will wander through my house. As I shuffle from this mortal coil, I will say I want a brew. I feel faint for lack of brew. I will scuttle off and make the tea for all you lords and oh. ladies. Why, you filthy urchin? You make me rich, sir. <laughs> was it? Time's up. <laughs> Wasn't I marvellous in that? Honestly, yeah. fantastic. Thank you. And if you want to see a bit more top-notch acting, uh. have a look at me. in Sherlock Bones. Thank you. This is the lawless town of Teapot. It's every bit as sinister as it... Hang on, who's that? Who is he? Coming in here. Family tongue. You are under arrest for crimes relating to cops. Working hard, detective. You! Yes, me. I'm a thief, a crook, a villain. Your equal and opposite in every way. I am Baroness Von Cat, the most evil... Evil cat criminal in the world! <laughs> cool! No, not cool! Evil! <laughs> It's so cool to have my own worst enemy. We can braid each other's hair. Shut up and pay attention, Sherlock. Behold my latest scheme. <laughs> the only way to save the victim is by playing a little game. <laughs> can it be Kiss Chase? Shut up and pay attention. Your challenge is to complete this. The most difficult crossword in the world! Oh no! Three letter word. Opposite of dog. Beginning with C and ending in T. Oh, Baroness von Cat! This is impossible! Please! If you don't solve the puzzle, she. She's gonna make silly noises in my ear! For anything up to a minute! You're mad, you are! <laughs> Good luck, Sherlock! Your time starts now! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, it's impossible. Oh. I'm sorry. No. no, please. She's gonna make silly noises in my ear for up to a minute. Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> it's nearly a word, but not quite. Me. Sounds that, that fun, this. <laughs> what? No, Sherlock, no! What? No! Yes. It's so nearly worse! No. <laughs> it's true. What? Is an annoying word, isn't it? So then, Mike. It's Connor. Is it? I hear from my sources that you used to be an ballot dancer. <laughs> I was a ballet dancer, yes, many, many moons ago when I still had hair. Well, <laughs> must have been some time back then. Will you give us a demonstration of ye talents? All right, okay. Yeah, go on. 
that did it. Dude! I'm sorry. Mike Milligan, MBE! It's not Mike Milligan, it's Connor Byrne! Mike Milligan is a fictional character! I don't care what your name is! You've just squashed my long-running friend, psychic and confidant, Harry Tonju. I'm sorry. I will not tolerate cup squashing in this studio. Now get out of here, Connor! What? But I didn't... Get out! I didn't... I didn't... And you too, Kay! Well, I know you're innocent in all this, but leave your must be away with ye. Uh... Leave! Get out! I never come back! Please. And mind your head on the way out. Uh... Yes! What lovely people. But I'm glad they've gone, because right now I'm going to show you some of my favourite fail-based lols from around the world. It's time for... Hackers Top 3 Epic Fail Howlers. In at three, be very wary of teasing frogs. Now, oh look, he's playing leapfrog. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Did, 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 did. Oh no! He's got his thumb! Quick, call Steve back, shall he? will sort it out. Act two. This wrestler's more annoying than the Miz. Now, here we've got a perfectly good news report. Very informative, very interesting, and a lovely woman, I don't mind telling you. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Oh no! A wrestler comes in and kisses her! Oh, that would have put me right off me tea. Come here, baby! Give Mama some sugar. And at one, this nutty athlete has forgotten how to jump. Oh look, he's knocking them all down. He's curdling those hurdles. <laughs> He'll never win a prize at this rate. Don't just push him, cocker. Oh. Oh, how embarrassing. Imagine what his poor mother must think. <laughs> what a disgrace. <laughs> anyway, that's all we've got time for today on Hacker Time. Thanks for watching and that. I'm off now to prune some geraniums. Not mine. I've only got a small window box. I'll see you next time when my guests won't include Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus. In the meantime, I shall perform my well good song to make your life better. Hit it. Goodbye. That is it for now, the end of the show. I need the love, love, so I'm going to go. I'll see you next time on this show of mine. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. It's been amazing, we've been locking around. And we've been lolling at some clips that I found. We'll watch again next time, because I got much more. There'll be tons of other funny stuff, it will be top draw. Kay and Connor from the dumping ground were my guests today. I brought them in, we had a laugh Then it all got out of hand, so I told them to go away That is it for now, the end of the show I need the love laughs, so I'm going to go I'll see you next time on this show of mine Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time That is the end of today's Hacker Time Thanks, mate It's Connor Bird Ooh. Oh! I'm loving the new series of Wolf Blood. Oh, and I'm also loving the awesome new game and app. You get to be your own wolf and smash through fences, rocks and walls. Oh, it's so wild. Check out the game and app on the CBBC website. <laughs> I always pick the brown wolf because he looks a bit like me. Oh! <laughs>